Hello guys, I'm back with another video. This is Dinesh Manikanta and this is my YouTube channel In Thirst of Knowledge. And in today's videos, I'm going to show you how to install uh, SQL Developer Edition in your PC or your laptop, which is the latest version 2017 and it is a developer edition. And along with that, I'll be showing you uh, how to install the uh, SQL Server Studio Management Studio. Uh, where uh, the installation will be in the uh, two files one is the server file and another is the working environment front end environment i'll explain you what is a back end and the front end environments so before getting late let's get started so now just open your google chrome browser and in the address bar just search for sql server then you will get a page like this SQL Server Downloads. Now, if you get any other page other than this page, then just click on Downloads and we will be redirected to this page and click on the Developer Edition. Or else you can download anything, not only a Developer Edition, or you can download also a Express Edition. So, since I have already downloaded this file, so let me install this thing and clicking on cancel so now let me find this file and here is the file SQL server 2017 now just click on S so the setup file is getting things ready so since I am using a basic version to install all the files since uh, if you choose custom edition you can choose the files that you want to install otherwise if you choose basic means all the files will be installed uh, the reason that i am installing this basic version is uh, since uh, if you want any of the other files in the future use uh, again you need to run this setup and again you have to do all this process which is a headache process so now itself you just click on the basic version so i am clicking on basic version so okay, asking for license agreement just click on agree and choose the file location and then click install so it's gathering all the install packages and it is extracting several rules in engines now uh, before it installs let me give some clarification about the backend so if you are considering any application web application or an app it consists of uh, two stages one is the front end another is the backend so backend means simply we can say a database where which is a collection of information right so in this backend will be executing several number of database codes where depending upon the codes all the information will be stored in a database and it can be retrieved using the front end so for example if i am opening website this is also a, a, another website created by uh, created for the government so consider this thing has a front end which consists of several number of fonts passwords etc and here these are the columns where we are entering our data which is already stored in the database which is called a backend here it will verify the details that we have entered in the backend of the server and chooses if it matches means then we'll be successfully logged in so right now i think you have a uh, clarification like uh, what is a front end and what is a back end another example is for example considering this microsoft page all the things that we are able to see is called as a front end software and whenever if we are clicking a download button it is automatically connected to a server right and based upon the server the data stored in that server is directly connected to a system and it is being downloaded so it is called a database where several number of data will be stored for retrieval purpose so now let's get into the installation process so here you can see uh, the file is being installed it takes so much of time let me skip this video all right guys we have completed 50 percent of acquiring the set of files so let's see what happens next so all right guys we have successfully completed uh, acquiring all the files and now it's installing the setup files 
so let's see what happens next all right guys uh, this installation process may take several number of meetings so please be patient i'll skip this video for some time all right guys we are almost at the finishing stage of installing process yeah it's completed installing the process so now what we need to do is we need to install another package called ssm which is a uh, sql server management studio which is a front-end software that means uh, here we can execute the sql server in two types one is uh, using the code user interface and one is the graphical user interface and this ssms is called a graphical user interface where we can uh, retrieve the data using the a sql commands or using just a graphical user interface so now let's install this uh, ssm for this it again connects to the computer and shows you the following link and you need to download this software and install this thing and now you need to connect this uh, software with the this backend software then the again com entire completion process will be completed since i have already downloaded this software so let let me install this software i'll go to the downloads so here is the file so let me install this file so now let's click as and see what happens next so re here it shows several number of uh, instance names called for example here the instance name which is called a local host for example uh, since the software is having two types one is the backend and the front end the software that we have installed now is the backend software and it acts as a sql server so here the server name is called the local host which means we are using the database credential present in our pc itself or otherwise if we want to connect to the uh, another database server which is in a remote condition or in a other uh, place then we need to change the server name to the server name which is present at that uh, at far place so for example uh, the server present in another area is called as a uh, local dbms so now we need to give the server name as local dbms now you i think you got a clarification between the local host and what is the difference between the local host and the server name and the server present in the another area so another thing is the sql administrator uh, which is a uh, several logos so the current version we are using is a uh, 14.0.1.00 which is and remember this thing is a developer edition all right guys here it here it is the sql server management studio now let's click install so it is finding several number of packages here you can see uh, the version of ssms here is the 17.3 but i am installing 17.2 uh, so i have earlier downloaded this thing so it is the 17.2 again we can update this thing uh, using the update package which will be automatically updated so you don't need to bother about this thing so again this thing takes some more time so let me skip this video all right guys now uh, this sms studio is installing uh, uh, microsoft visual studio 2015 shell which we can call as a, a command prompt where we can execute commands through uh, a command prompt shell like uh, we execute in a linux systems or ubuntu systems where we'll be opening some terminal shell and we're executing some of the commands like this we can also do uh, with the help of this uh, microsoft studio 2015 shell we can execute commands through command prompt okay hello guys another important thing is uh, before installing this sql server we need to install some of the parts of microsoft visual studio where it uses some part of it uh, to support uh, to support or to run the program so one mandatory thing is you need to install Microsoft Visual Studio, the latest version. Okay. Make it a note of it. So now we have completed the installation process. 
so let's close this thing so now before closing this thing let us check whether the pro uh, this thing has installed completely so I'm clicking on this thing Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio so let's see what happens now so now you can see we had an icon studio management so all right guys with this pop-up window we can confirm that uh, our installation process has been completed successfully so in the coming videos i'll be explaining you what are what all these things are okay all right guys with this thing we have completed this video hope you guys like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel in thirst of knowledge thank you guys thank you for watching